I'm Dale Nifong, your State Farm agent on Hillcrest. We're celebrating 14 years of service to the Dublin Lawrence County communities. Please call us, text us, or even email us to find out what makes us different and how we can help you. We're located on Hillcrest between Dublin High School and Kroger. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with a special show with Mr. Tommy King with East Dublin Lions Club. And uh, Lions Club is known nationally for doing a lot of good things in the local community, right, Tommy? That's correct. We, um, we do a lot of work with uh, children's eyesight, glasses, and um, also hearing, hearing aids. Uh, we collect used glasses and recycle them. Yeah. And we, um, we, have, we have other projects that we do. It's, it, the, the Lions Club is the world's largest service organization. Uh -huh. Has a uh, hundred and well, has 1.4 million members. Has 46,000 clubs mm -hmm. worldwide, mm -hmm. and uh, they do a lot of good work. Lions Club has worked hard for years. You remember uh, years back, you come around with the brooms and sell them. That's right. And then uh, you know just different fundraisers through time. One of them that you all are gonna remember is the, uh, uh, <laughs> the Redneck Games. Yeah, the Redneck Games. That's and right. uh, man, now that was. Uh, but to start out with, it was such a big hit, and, and it continued for so long, and brought a lot of notoriety to the area in a unique way, and wound up bringing a lot of money into the area, but raised a tremendous amount. It raised a lot of money, a lot of money, and um, it was uh, it was really a uh, it grew outgrew us in a way, I suppose, and so we've. Uh, this is our this is our main uh, mm -hmm. money raiser. So you right grew now, on so. to a fishing tournament. So it went to the which, fishing tournament, which, which is what something. we want to talk about now. How long has the fishing tournament been going on? This is our sixth year. All right, and, six strong. Uh, that's right. It's been going uh, going on for six years, and it's it's been real successful. Yeah, I guess so. Most people like to fish. They so. like to fish, and uh, we got some good prize money. Um, we have a rule change this year that I think uh, the local people will certainly like is that we've been fishing from. The tailwaters of the of the uh, dam at Sinclair, yep. and this year we've moved that on down closer to to the Balls Ferry Landing, yep. where 57 goes across. Yeah, and come, so, so nobody can catch a big old catfish and bring it down. That's right, exactly body. right. So <laughs> we're trying to trying to equal it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you want—a good fair contest. Okay, so if somebody wants to get involved in the fishing tournament, Tommy, t tell us how to get involved with it, how to get in participate with it. Well, the the entry fee is fifty dollars per per person. Uh, you, uh, if you have somebody that's under six, a child that's under sixteen, they can they fish for free. All if right. they would if they were a paying, paying adult. adult. That's okay. right. Okay. And, they, and there's a and there's a um, there's a kid there's a kid's payout also. Okay. So the kid that catches the biggest fish or right. the heaviest that's weight or that's so right. So tell us how you how do you gauge it? Is it strictly on weight? Or it's on of weight. Fish? Yeah. We, All on weight. We weigh, um, Okay, and what what amount of time do we have, and what date will it take place? Well, it's going to take place on uh, April 27th, the 28th. It starts at 12 o'clock. Okay, that's when you can put in, and the way in is it on Saturday at, tw at uh, 12. Okay, by 12. Top five. So top five <laughs> placers. You got a first through fifth there. And that's right. Tell us what first gets. How much money? They first place is fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars. That's a good bit of money. That's worth fishing for. And right? that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and second place is uh, one thousand dollars. That's impressive. Man. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Already giving away twenty five hundred dollars in the first two places. That's right. All right. Uh, third place is uh, seven fifty. Mm mm. And fourth is uh, five hundred, and yep. fifth is two fifty. It all adds up. That's right, and of course, the, all anybody that's uh, any of the winners are subject to uh, to uh, lie detection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fisher, fishermen will lie. Yeah, you know? no. <laughs> hey. So uh, we will we will be down there with chicken, to make sure everything's yeah. uh, straight up. That's right. Yeah. And most everybody participates in the best of ways. It's a fun tournament. Uh, six years strong, East Dublin right. Lions Club been going, and a lot of money to give away. And you have a lot of sponsors, a lot of local people participate in this your local businesses that's and right. thank you to there's so many there's no way we could name them all but no but you'll be mentioned on the on the t-shirts uh, mm -hmm. if you're a participating sponsor and we will be we're still coming around looking for sponsors and we yeah. we hope everybody will feel like they can help us and mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah. We uh, do a lot of good with the money, and we help yeah. a lot of local people. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, and it's good to have the uh, Lions Club here in East Dublin. You help people throughout Lawrence County as they need it. But if you want to become a part of this in, in your local business, what number would they call? Where do they reach you, Tommy? They can call me at 478-998-3573. Uh, All right. And so what, they're going to report down to the... Uh, to the uh, East Dublin That's Community right. Center. That's right. And We're going to start, start from there. Well, everybody uh, has to uh, weigh in there. Now you can you can put in anywhere, mm -hmm. and you can um, you can send your um, or come by the East Dublin City Hall also and and put in your um, entry forms. Okay. Or you can call me for entry forms. Okay. But you can put in anywhere along the river you, as, as you, part of the tournament. You can put in anywhere below Balls Ferry. Okay. And but when you when you weigh in, you have to come to uh, East Devon. Mm -hmm. So you report back, then you have to be back by twelve. That's right. By twelve noon. That's right. Throw the fish on the scale, and then we'll we we'll see right. who the winner. Now is. You weigh in before then, but mm -hmm. but uh, and fish have to be live. Okay. And yeah, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> can't go to the market and pick one yeah, up. Yeah. Have them in your yeah, freezer. You can't have them clean. It's crazy. <laughs> they need to be. They've got to be yeah, live. Got to be live. So. All right, and so in the past now, you've had some pretty good competition. Some local people won, some people a little bit out of the area. That's right. Okay, yes. so tell us a little bit about some stories of maybe young people fishing. Well, we always, you know, like to have young fishermen and people of all ages to fish with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had we've had some uh, very excited winners in yeah. the past and <laughs> and uh, some some that have been close and some disappointments. Yeah. But everybody has a good time. Mm -hmm. And it's for a good cause. What you think the weight will be on the first prize? Uh, if you look at any of the past and you're looking forward on maybe, you know, especially with moving it down away from the, the dam up there and, and starting at Balls Ferry. I, I I would be scared to fear a guess, I reckon. But yeah. I would think it's probably be around 60 pounds, something like that. Mm -hmm. Probably we, 60 pounds might win. Yeah, well, might. there's your goal, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. 60 pounds. <laughs> Sixty pounds might win. Mm -hmm. We've had we've had some big, and also you know, of course, we have a big fish pot too. Yeah. And uh, we've had some pretty nice fish come in before, but like I said, that was because they come from farther up the river. Right, right. So we're gonna kind of level it all out here for especially the local people. Give you a chance to win the money. That's right. So you can stop by East Dublin City Hall. You can call Tommy King. Uh, I'm sure there's several other Lions Club members uh, in and around East Dublin. Be glad to to uh, put you in contact with the right people and get you registered. You know, a, a grandparent, a grandfather, and uh, you know, a grandson fishing team, things yeah, like we have, that. we have a lot wonderful. of families. I bet you yeah, do. Sure do. Yeah, and it's, it's obviously very family oriented. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's family oriented and it's a <clears throat> lot of fun and everybody really enjoys it. And so everybody comes back at 12, weighs the fish in, and then uh, you announce who the winners are and present them with a check at that time. That's right, well, all that's right. right. That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, it's uh, it's you know fifteen hundred dollars is pretty yeah, exciting. And yeah, it, but, yeah, and right on down the line, even two hundred and fifty. Uh, absolutely, to go out and fish a half. Yeah, I do it for free all the that's time. Pretty, <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh, and what kind of turnout have we had in the past? About what kind of numbers we, have we had? We've had uh, usually run around twenty five teams, something like that. Yeah, twenty five to thirty, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That sizes so, up good yeah. and is a good size event. We want it to continue to grow, so we'd like for you to get in touch with us for the sixth annual Old Coney River Catfish Tournament. That's coming up real soon, April 27th. It'll be here for you know it, 27th, right. 28th. <clears throat> yes, um, and I checked the, I've checked my uh, lunar tables. That's supposed to be a good weekend also. Supposed to be a good time to fish. That's right, yeah. sure is. Maybe the weather will hold out and everything will be just right. So. Once again, we have Tommy King in from East Dublin Lions Club, and, and we want you to support this tournament. Support it from a business standpoint. They'll be around to ask you. And if they haven't made it by the sea and you've sponsored it in the past, or maybe you want to make that sponsorship, get your name on the back of the T-shirt, and help a real worthwhile cause, and get in touch with them. You'll be glad you did. Thank you, Tommy, for what y'all do. All right, thank you for having us, and we look forward to seeing everybody. today at Bank of Dudley to discuss business loans. 
So many businesses and industries trust the Bank of Dudley for a variety of financing alternatives to suit your specific needs, from short-term loans to help with cash flow, loans to purchase equipment or facilities. At Bank of Dudley, we have commercial mortgage loans, capital improvement loans for construction or renovation. We can help with your business vehicle loans or for a small business line of credit. In other words, Bank of Dudley has your business covered. No matter what it is, you can trust the lenders at the Bank of Dudley with five convenient locations, East Dublin, Downtown Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, Dudley, and Jeffersonville. The Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender.